Hey, how y'all doing? The world's ending. Um, I bought a banjo. New Frank Ocean singles though, so we got that. I'm back, I guess. I'm locked in my house, so what else am I gonna do? <laughs> New Eve's Tumor came out last night. Heaven for a Tortured Mind. And guess what? It's really good. So I'm gonna eat this raw cauliflower and talk about it like a sociopath. Cause this is Aaron Eats and that's what I do. You should subscribe. <laughs> it's been a while. Sorry about that. Shit happens. Corona happens, but I'm just using that as an excuse. <laughs> now it's my excuse to make videos. Anyways, enough about me. No one gives a shit. Heaven for a Tortured Mind, Eve Stumer. Boom, boom, boom. Really good. I saw that Eve Stumer was my last concert before shit hit the Corona fan. Um, it was about a month ago? About a month ago, I saw him in Houston. It was a really like small, intimate show. He did amazing. He sounded exactly like how he sounds on his record. Performance was amazing. He kept coming in the crowd and like caressing people. And like, you know, hindsight, not the best health choice, but it made for a fun show. So what can you do? <laughs> First song on the album, Gospel for a New Century. That was released as a single, like a month ago, two months ago, two, about two months ago. And I've been listening to it a lot because it's amazing and I love it. And I was like, oh my God, if this is what the record's like, I'm gonna love it. And spoiler alert, it is and I do love it. <laughs> I'm, I've been a Eve's Tumor fan for a while. Safe in the Hands of Love, really good record. Um, personally, I think this is a step up. I think, I think Safe in the Hands of Love's really good, but it was, you know, it kind of, it, I don't know what the word is, I don't want to say, like, it was consistent throughout, which is good, but it was like, you know, let's spice it up a little bit here and there. But I'm not, like, saying it was bad, you know, it's just, like, it was good. This one is all over the place, and I mean that in the best way possible. It's very experimental. Which doesn't really mean much anymore. I feel like the term experimental is like the new indie. Like you just say it to describe everything and like, what, is it, what does it even mean anymore? <laughs> but if we're talking like classic definition of experimental, this is it. You know, it's ambient. It's, you know, there's some like pop elements to it. It's kind of dream poppy in some parts. It's kind of industrial in some parts. It's very all over the place, but in a way that works. It's like chaos that works. Kind of like, I don't know if this is comparable to Trout Mask Replica. Speaking of which, I've been doing um, a bunch of digital painting because I'm bored and depressed. And yeah, I've been like recreating album covers. So that's what those look like, enjoy. <laughs> Kind of relevant, but anyways. I don't know if it's comparable to Trout Mask Replica, but it reminds me of that album in the sense that it's like, this is chaotic, but it works. Like it, you know, you hear it and it's like, well, there's so much going on. But when you kind of like break it down and look at it, you're like, this is really masterful in this way and this way. And I understand this and that. And I loved it, it's really good. Oh shit. I dropped my cauliflower. It's okay, I have backup. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think Yves did a lot of. On one song, their voice would be really. 
like the normal thing going on and the instrumentals would be really experimental and then it would kind of flip with each song. And I like that a lot. There was one song that had a uh, kerosene that had a lot of guitar on it, which felt unusual, but it worked really well and I liked it a lot. So I thought it was worth mentioning. All these songs, I love the titles of the songs that Yves comes up with. I think they're amazing. They're very like dramatic, but they work with the songs and I don't know. I don't really have much to say about each individual song because, well, I do, but it's like I have so much to say about each individual song. It's like, do we really need to go through the whole, you know, gamut? Because each one is so different and so powerful in its own way. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Lost my train of thought. Whatever. Each of Reggie's kids. I think one of the things I love most about Youth Tumor is music. Is their voice. I feel like it's very, like, you know, you know immediately you recognize it. It's very powerful. It's very passionate. It's one of the best things about the music. And so I thought it was interesting, the song Asteroid Blues, there was no singing on it. But I was listening to it and it was like, this is still clearly a used tumor song. Which I thought was very interesting because I've always been like, you know, their voice is like the, the, the driving force, the heavy thing that is very much them, that you recognize this is used tumor every time you hear it. And so I think that song specifically kind of made me fall in love with this album even more because it made me love the instrumentation more than just the, you know, Eve's Tumor voice. So that might be one of my favorite songs, that and Gospel for a New Century because I've had a lot of time with it to, you know, mull over it, love it. Only thing is, is I would have made that the last song. A Greater Love is a great song. I love it, but I would have made Asteroid Blues the last song. Personally, that's my only critique, you know, but whatever. Take what I say at face value, it doesn't matter. I'm sick of eating raw cauliflower. So that being said, 9 out of 10, Yves, you did it again. I love you. I'm a huge fan. I thought this album was great. Y'all should go listen to it. Um, I'll probably be uploading a lot more videos. I don't know. What else am I going to do? Bye.